Good afternoon, everyone, or morning, where it might be. I'm taking some time here to explain some calculations in macroeconomics that a lot of students have some issues with. So I would normally be writing this on the board in a face-to-face -face class, but with the with the help of this wonderful a wonderful clear screen, I can go through all of the calculations with you, and uh, you can see this at any time. So the three calculations are nominal GDP, real GDP, and something called the GDP deflator. The nominal GDP, remember that GDP is the market value of all final goods and services in a given year. And nominal GDP is going to be the actual given prices and quantities for something known as CY. CY means current year. So current year price times current year quantity will give you the nominal GDP. Real GDP is a, is a GDP number which holds constant the change in prices. One of the problems with the nominal GDP is that we're giving the prices times the quantities, but what we're really looking for is the change in the output that a country has done from one year to the next. But since it's market value, it gets a little sullied by the price. The price can ch change as well. In real GDP, we look at the current year quantity times something called the base year price. We hold that price constant in something known as the base year. In that way, we are able to look, we're able to still take the market value, which is price time quantity, but hold this constant. So in reality, we're only looking at the change in the price. Next up is the GDP deflator. And this is a measure of ultimately inflation, as it were. It's called deflator because it actually deflates what was the nominal GDP into a more realistic number holding prices constant. We take this as an index and it's the nominal GDP divided by, make this really strong here, divided by the real GDP and all of these index numbers are times 100. All right, so these are the calculations. Let's go through an example. And this is a pretty standard example that um, you will see in the textbook and or you might see on the practice questions or even an exam. So we have, um, we have um, three years and we have two items, bread and wine. You can say perhaps this is the uh, country of France or Italy or any country that produces bread and wine and their entire economy is bread and wine. We have three years, 2019, 2020, and 2021. And we have prices for bread and wine, quantities for bread and wine. Our base here is going to be 2019. So our nominal GDP is going to be the current year, price times quantity, times the current year, also price times quantity. It's going to be 90, excuse me, plus 5 times 9, which is 450. 450 plus 900 is going to be 540. So that's going to be our nominal GDP for the year 2020. We'll put a star here and a star here. <coughs> Remembering our base here is 2019. Now for the real GDP. <coughs> is going to be the current year quantities times the base year prices. So <clears throat> it will be 90, which is the current year quantity, times the base year price, which is 1. And that will be 90. So it will be 90 here plus current year quantity times base year price, 4 times 90, 360. And this will be 450. Okay? So notice this number is going to be a bit less than this number because it has taken out the effect of prices and only focusing on quantities, which is what we want to see with GDP. Now, finally, <coughs> the GDP deflator. 
Now, it just so happens, since I'm talking about 2020, I already have my numbers for nominal and real. So in this case, it's going to be, the nominal GDP is going to be 540 over 450 times 100 to give us an index number. And that is going to be, this is going to be actually 1.2 times 100, 120. And that GDP deflator <coughs> gives us a notion of <coughs> the cost of living or the prices for that particular year. We would take the percentage change and different percentage change from one year to the next to give us the inflation rate. But that will be for another <clears throat> video that I think I will be doing in just a minute or so. But this right here is the, <clears throat> is the calculation for GDP, probably the most complicated section that um, <clears throat> students have to deal with in the GDP chapter. And remembering that nominal GDP is current year price times current year quantity, real GDP is current year quantity times base year price, and we always list the base year here. And D GDP deflator is nominal GDP over the real GDP. <clears throat> the base year does not necessarily need to be the first year, but oftentimes it is for convention. All right, that's it. That's it for GDP. Hope you, hope you um, enjoyed this, or, or at the very least, you have a much clearer idea of what these <coughs> calculations are and how to do them.